What does Ermyonsa mean? Well, it's used for talking about simultaneous actions. That's kind of the key word here. Simultaneous. So it's two actions that you do at the same time. So two actions that you're doing concurrently or at the same time as each other. For example, 저는 운동하면서 음악을 들어요. 저는 운동하면서. So here is our 면서 here, attached to the verb 운동하다. 운동하다 is to work out. So while I work out, that's this part right here. While I work out, 음악을 들어요. 음악 is music. Uh, and 들어요 is to listen to. So 음악을 들어요 is to listen to music. While I work out, that's what the 음연서 is doing here. While I work out, I listen to music. And notice how in English, you can sort of, you can say it either way around, right? It both sounds fine. I listen to music while I work out, or I work out while I, or, yeah, while, while working out, I listen to music. Um, both is fine. And that's kind of the same in, in Korean too. You can swap these verbs around without kind of changing the meaning, because they are two things that you're doing together. So whether you do one, say one first or the other first, doesn't really matter because you're doing them together at the same time. Okay, now another thing about um, is that it can also be used with nouns. And we're gonna look at that a little bit more later on as well, but just a little note to keep in mind. You can use it with verbs and you can also use it with nouns. Okay, also another quick little note about just to sort of uh, keep in mind is that when you use umyeonsa, the same subject has to be performing both actions. So when you use umyeonsa, it means that I work out and I listen to music. It has to be the same subject in both clauses. If you want to uh, use different subjects, hello, if you want to use different subjects, you actually have to use a different grammar form, this nun hongan grammar form, which we will cover um, in a little, like pretty soon actually, just a couple chapters from now. So um, if you want to use different subjects, for example, like while I cook, my husband does the dishes, or while, you know, I listen to music, my sister watches TV, or like, you know, whatever it is, if you want to do that kind of sentence, you have to use nun tongan. But if the, the subjects in both clauses as is the same, you can use umyeonsa. So just a little, little note about that. Okay, so how do you conjugate umyeonsa? Well, if the verb ends in a consonant sound, you attach umyeonsa. So for example, the verb mokta means to eat, so it becomes mogumyeonsa, while eating. That's what this means, while eating. <laughs> well, I'm happy you're here. Please enjoy. Um, and then this one, titta. Titta is an irregular verb. That's what this um <clears throat> this exclamation point means. So it's letting you know that it has an irregular conjugation. If you're not too familiar with the tiga irregular, you can definitely go and practice that. But this one becomes tiryonsa. Tsurumyeonsa means while listening. Mogumyeonsa, tsurumyeonsa, while listening. So what about this verb? Uh, if it ends on a vowel, so both of these end on consonants, right? They have this consonant at the bottom. This is so I've got a g sound at the bottom and a d sound at the bottom here. So when there's a consonant on the bottom, you attach umyeonsa. But if the verb ends in a vowel or liu, you just attach myonso. You don't need this u in the middle. You just attach myonso. So, kidari da becomes kidari myonso. Kidari da means while waiting. What about this one? Karachida. Does anyone recognize this verb? Does anyone know what this verb means? Karachida. 
<clears throat> teach, call me. Beautiful. Thank you. Karuchida means to teach. So to conjugate this, it becomes karuchi myonso. It ends on a vowel. So you just attach myonso on the end and it becomes karuchi myonso. While teaching. While teaching. And lastly here, salda. Does anyone know what salda means in Korean? Salda. To live. Beautiful. Call me. Skiz. Perfect. Salda means to live. And notice how this does technically end on a consonant, right? It ends in a lil. But the rule says if the verb ends in a vowel or lil, attach myonso. So it just becomes sal myonso. Sal myonso is the conjugation for salda. And it means while living. Annyeong. Annyeong haseyo. Hello. Okay, so there's a quick introduction to how to conjugate myonso. Let's see it used in some example sentences. First up here, we have Kidari myonso, umago teroyo. All right, so what does this mean? This first one, we actually had it up here, right? This is the same thing here. Kidari myonso means while waiting. So while waiting, what is it that I do? I umako teroyo. Skiz addict, yeah, thank you. While waiting, I listen to music. Umak is music and teroyo is to listen. So while I wait, I listen to music. Yeah. What about this next one? Jiha chorur tamyonso emeirur hwagenheo. It's a little bit longer. Let's look at some of this vocab. First word here, jiha chol. Does anyone know what a jiha chol is? It is a noun. It's a certain type of um, transportation. Uh, oh, excuse me. Very close. Yeah. Mm, slender. Perfect. Subway. Um, jiha chol is a subway. By the way, this book is called Conversational Korean Grammar. So, jiha tol is a subway, and tada, nalidin, yes, tada means to ride. This verb here, tada, means to ride. So, while riding the subway, or while taking the subway, emeirer, huagenheo. Emeirer is emails. What about this last uh, thing here, this last one, huagenhada. Does anyone know what this verb is? Hwagenhada. To read? Yeah, that's a pretty good translation. Um, uh, eat, read is the closest so far. Um, it's all very good guesses. To confirm, that's pretty close as well. Um, Hwagenhada pipi. Yeah, to check. Perfect. I, I usually translate Hwagenhada to to check something. But you could also say, like, I read my emails or I check up on my emails or... Um, that sort of thing as well. Yeah, so I confirm like what sort of emails I got while I ride the subway. While I ride the subway, I check my emails or I check up my emails or I read my emails. So if you commute to work, maybe you do that. Maybe while you ride the subway, maybe while you ride the bus, you check your emails for the day. Okay? And then let's look at... Um, one more. Let's look at this last one, or third, third from the bottom here. Let's look at this. Mogumyonsa Netflixer pile. Okay. So what is this mogumyonsa? Hello, I am Korean. Hello, welcome. What does this mogumyonsa mean? We know what this umyonsa is doing now, right? And you might know this mokta verb. So if you put it together, um, slender, beautiful. Call me. Yes. Mogum Yonso means while eating or while I eat. And then we have Netflix. <laughs> yes, perfect. This is the Korean spelling for Netflix. And then we have Pile, which means to see or to watch. So while I eat, I watch Netflix. I know a lot of people do that in the evening as they're uh, relaxing in the evening, having dinner. They watch Netflix. So you could say, Mogum Yonso, Netflix, Pile. While I eat, I watch Netflix. 
Okay, so that's an introduction to how umyeonso is used with verbs. Now let's look at how it's used with nouns because we learned before, we mentioned before that you can use umyeonso with nouns. Quickly, I will show the cover here. This is the cover of the book Conversational Korean Grammar. Okay, so nouns. What is this first noun, haksing? Does anyone know what this book is? I'm using the book called Conversational Korean Grammar. <laughs> it is really pretty. It was designed by, our, by Eugen, who is uh, our native Korean speaker who helps with our books. Student. Yes, thank you guys. Haksing is student. And if the noun ends on a consonant sound, you attach e myeon so e myeon so so it becomes hakseng e myeon so hakseng e myeon so which means while being a student while being a student hakseng e myeon so and then what about this one this one people you may not know this word it's not a super common word to be honest chukbok chukbok means a blessing a blessing, and again it ends with a consonant sound, so it becomes chukboki myeonso, while being a blessing. So with nouns it means while being the noun. Yes, generally it does. While being some noun, you are also something else. Generally that's how it's used. <clears throat> Hello. Okay, that's if it ends on a consonant sound. But if it ends on a vowel, you just attach myeonso. So, omma. Does anyone know what this noun or this word is in Korean? Omma. Hello, hello. Omma. Mum, yes. Mum or mom. If you're American, you'd say mom. If you're British, you speak British English like me, you'd say mum. But omma is mum. And you attach myeonso. And it becomes omma myeonso, while being a mom, while being a mother. <clears throat> and then we have <laughs> mama. Yeah, you could also say mama um, or mummy. Uh -huh, yep. What about this one? Isa. Isa. What does this word mean in Korean? How often are you live? Usually twice a week. Georgia. Perfect. Isa is doctor. It's doctor, and again, it ends on a vowel sound, so it becomes isa myeon so, while being a doctor. Okay, so let's look at some examples of this used in an example sentence. So the first one we have is 저는 학생이면서 엄마예요. 학생이면서 엄마예요. So what this means is while I am this thing, I'm also this. This book is Conversational Korean Grammar. So, while I'm a student, I'm also a mum. I'm also a mom. <clears throat> yeah. So, I'm a mom while being a student. So, you're studying and you're a mother at the same time. What about this next one? 그 사람은 의사 면서 교수예요. 교수예요. Does anyone know this word? Uh, again, it's not a super common word, but you might have, you might recognize it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, professor, teacher, Sarah Lamb, beautiful. Impressive, yes. A kyosu is a professor. So usually someone that teaches at like a um, university, something like that. Sort of a, a quite official teaching position. A kyosu. So that person, kusaram is that person. Isa Myonso, while being a doctor, he's a professor, a gyosu. That person's a doctor and a professor. So, like I know a lot of uh, medical professionals sometimes also give lectures and give te like teach things like that. So they're a doctor and they're also a professor. And this last one here, let's do this last one as well. Chukboki Myonso. So you may not know many words in this one, but we learned before that chukbok is 
uh, blessing. So while being a blessing, does anyone know what Hongxie means? This word. Um, same time. Yes. Asara lamb. That was perfect guess. You actually got it. Uh, bang on. Yeah. Amazing. This means the same time. Tongxie. And Budam is a burden or a curse or a struggle. So while it is a blessing at the same time, it's a burden or it's a curse. Um, so this might apply to some things in your life. Um, Maybe for me, I might say that children, while being a blessing, blessing are also a burden. So I could say, I didn't. Kids are a blessing, but also a burden. <clears throat> All right. So, cool, awesome. Another little note about umyeonsa is that it can sometimes be translated to yet or though. This is just basically when there's some contrast in the sentence in Korean, we might translate it to yet or though in English. So for example, oh, also when it's got sentence like this, with like this sort of contrast thing, you might see this sort of thing, 음연서도. 음연서도 just adds a little bit more emphasis and makes it like, while being this thing, they're also really this. Like, it just makes the feeling a little bit stronger. You'll see it in some examples. So, for example, 돈이 없으면서 돈을 많이 써요. So, what is 돈? Does anyone know what 돈 is in Korean? It's a very useful word to know. Probably an important word. Edna, yes, money. Ton is money. And Tony opta. Tony opta. Tony opsumionso. What does this mean? Tony opsumionso. Tony opsumionso. Not have. Yes. No money. While not having any money, while having no money, Tony opsumionso. Toner. Money. Soyo. So this soyo comes from the verb sida, which means to use. Or in this case, it means to spend. Yeah, tono mani sida, tono mani soyo means to spend a lot of money. So you spend a lot of money while having no money, right? That's bad. Um, you know, that's bad credit. You get into debt. But it's this feeling of like yet or though. So they spend a lot, yet they have no money. Or he spends a lot, or I spend a lot, yet I have no money. This is an example of where umyeonsa becomes yet in English. And let's look at um, one more example. We have 아무것도 모르면서도 다 아는 척해요. This book is Conversational Korean Grammar. Oh, I got a little, gave away a little bit there. So this grammar, this sentence is actually a little bit complicated. It's got some other grammar forms happening. But let's break it down bit by bit. So first we have 아무것도. 아무것도. Does anyone know what this means in Korean? 아무것도? <clears throat> 아무것도. Nothing. Peosui, yes. 아무것도 means nothing. Or nothing at all. Not at all. Moruda, this moruda, what about this? What does this mean? Moruda. It's a very common word, although it isn't a regular verb. To not know, yeah, beautiful. So while knowing nothing, umyon sodo, while knowing nothing at all, ta anen chokeo. Okay, so this is a, I'm going to do this a little bit over here. So this is actually the verb alda. This is the verb alda. Does anyone know what alda means in Korean? Alda. This means to know. Sarah Lam, beautiful, thank you. Alda means to know. 
But we have this grammar form on the end. It's actually not one that we teach in this book, but it is a useful grammar form to know. So when you add nin tokada to a verb, it means to pretend. To pretend something. Yes, Jim, beautiful. That's exactly right. So nin tokada is to pretend something. Um, so like for example, mong nin tokada is like to pretend to eat, or cha nin tokada is to pretend to sleep. And then the thing is here, when you attach this to alda, it becomes a lil irregular. This is an irregular verb, and this lil goes away. So in, so you might think it's this. But this is not correct. When you attach something adding with starting with a nian to a verb, this bottom lil always goes away. It always goes away and it becomes anin tokata. This is true for um, all verbs like that as well. Anin tokata is to pretend to know. And ta is everything. So while knowing nothing, they pretend to know everything. They know nothing while pretending to know it all. This book is is called Conversational Korean Grammar. And here is the title page. So that was a fairly advanced sentence, actually. Um, it was not an easy sentence. But we are in level three now, remember. We have made it all the way to level three. So things do get a little bit trickier as you go through. Things get a little bit more developed. As you go through this book, we deliberately designed this book so that it builds upon what you've learned before. So when you first start out in this book, the sentences are very simple. But as you get into level three, four, five, these sentences get more and more developed and more and more advanced so that you can see more ways that the grammar you're learning is actually used. OK, so we looked at some notes about um yon and now we're going to compare briefly the difference between um yon so and er te. So in our last live stream, we actually looked at er te. Um, we learned about er te to mean it means when. And there are some overlaps in usages between these two things, but there is a little bit of a difference as well. Um, <clears throat> so um yon so means while or during. And erte means when. So there are times when you can use either one. You're welcome. I'm glad you're here. For example, 기다리면서 음악을 들어요. Means, while I wait, I listen to music. While I wait, I listen to music. And we, you can also use this with 때. 기다릴 때 음악을 들어요. When I wait, I listen to music. So in English, it's basically the same sentence, right? And it's the same in Korean. It's basically the same sentence. There's not a big difference between them. Um, one, uh, also, uh, they can both be used with nouns. But <clears throat> when you use myonso with a noun, it means while being that noun. But when you use te with nouns, it's really only used with time nouns, right? Because this means when. So erte is really mostly only used with time nouns to mean when it's uh, a noun. So for example, 저는 학생이면서 엄마예요. I'm a mom while being a student. While being a student, I'm also a mom. Versus 저는 학, uh, 학창 시절 때. That means in my student days. This 시절 is a really common used, commonly used word actually to mean like the days of. So in the days of like my student times, in the days of being a student, I became a mom. This ga tweda form is used to become something. So when I was in my student days, I became a mom. So it's kind of the same sentence, but structured two different ways. One is using myonso and one is using de. But um, they are, they do have a lot of similarities in their usages and they are often interchangeable. Um, but remember that um is when you're doing two things consecutively 
And Urte is like saying when you do one thing, you do another as well. So even from that description, you can see they're pretty similar. All right. So last but not least, let's do some exercises. This book is Conversational Korean Grammar, and this is the cover. Feel free to screenshot it if you would like to try and find it later. It is available on Amazon, and we do have PDFs on our website as well. <clears throat> you can buy the PDF and print it yourself if you want. That's fine. But keep in mind, this book is about 300 pages. So printing costs will not be cheap if you uh, do want to print it yourself. But if you live in a place where it's hard to get, or if shipping is high, you can do that as well. All right, so let's do some practice problems using Umyeonso. First up, I listen to music while I study. Okay, so we're going to use this while I study first. What is the verb to study in Korean? Does anyone remember or know how to spell the verb to study in Korean? <clears throat> Najam, yes, beautiful. This is kombuhada. Kombuhada is to study in Korean. Now, in order to attach this while, we're going to use our umyeon so, right? And kombu hada ends on a vowel sound. This ta goes away, it always goes away. And now we have ha, which ends on a vowel sound. So we attach myon so. So this means while I study. While I study, umago tiroyo. Oh, nore tutta. Yeah, you could also use nore. So music, we have two options. We have nore, which means songs. Or we have, I saw someone else use it as well, umak, music. You can use either of those ones. Um, but just remember that if you use nore, you would use ler because it ends on a vowel sound. But umak, you would use er because it ends on a consonant sound. So kombu hamyeonsa, nore er, or umak er, titta. How do we conjugate titta? into the present tense. This book is called Conversational Korean Grammar. Now this verb here, it means to listen, but it's an irregular verb, so it's a little bit tricky. Does anyone know? Oh, I see, Thugomi, yes. <laughs> My writing is pretty, thank you. I'm trying to write neatly <laughs> for this live stream. It becomes, 들어요, 들어요. 공부하면서 노래를 or 음악을 들어요. While I study, I listen to music. What about this next one? I drink tea while I read a book. Um, why do I say study first? We can switch it around. Let's try switching around. So if I want to say, um, while I listen to music, I study, right? I can say this. So while I listen to music would be to do. So, or hang on, I need to put music in here first. I forgot my music. Let's do umak. Umagur. Umagur to do myonso. Kumbuea. You can also say this. This is while listening to music, I study. And that's fine too. You can use either one. Um, it's fine either way. Um, yep, whatever you prefer to do. Um, so this next one. I drink tea while I read a book. So let's start with this while I read a book. So what is book in Korean? Yes, I see people are already getting it. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Check, check is book. Checker. Yeah, amazing. You guys have got it. Check. Beautiful. Check is book. And now, we're, because we're going to be reading a book, which is an action, we use our object particle, our little object particle, because we're going to perform an action on this book. And the action we're going to be doing is reading. 
Uh, what is the verb to read in Korean? Yeah, and like Jim is saying, it doesn't matter which one you put first because you're doing them both at the same time. So, ilgum yonsa, whisk kisser. Yeah, beautiful. The verb to read is ikta, ikta, and it becomes ilgum yonsa. So, chego ilgum yonsa means while reading a book. Now we're going to have I drink tea. What is tea in Korean? Anyone know what tea is? I see people have already said the full sentence. I'm just trying to go a little bit slower for anyone else uh, who's still learning these words. And thank you for the gifts, guys. Cha, yes. Cha. Cha is tea. It also can mean car. Um, so, but depending on context, you wouldn't usually get them confused. Cha can mean either tea or car. But in this sentence, we're going to use it to mean tea. And then what about the verb... Uh, okay, so this is also going to be an action, right? We're going to perform an action on this T, the action being drink. So we're also using our object particle. And what is the verb to drink? Skiz, yes, mashi myonsa, yeah. The verb to drink is mashida. Mashida, it means to drink in Korean. <clears throat> and because it ends on a vowel sound, you attach myonsa. Oh, we already did the myonsa. Because it ends on a vowel sound, you attach yo yo to turn it into the present tense. Ma, ma sho yo is to drink. Chader ma sho yo is to drink tea. So, chego ilgu myonsa. Chader ma sho yo. While reading a book, I drink tea. And again, you could always switch these around. You could say chader ma shi myonsa. Chego ilgu yo. That's also fine, right? You can do it either way. Either way is fine. Okay. Last one. Lucky last. We have this sentence right here. I worked at a school while living in Korea. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a complicated sentence, right? These two were pretty, pretty basic. Um, <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay, so we're going to look at this sentence right here. So let's start with while living in Korea. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to start with the word for Korea, which is Hanguk. Hanguk is Korea in Korean. And now the verb to live is Salda. And Salda is a little bit, um, oh, yeah, so Salda is to live. Uh, so, Salda is a little bit tricky because when you talk about living in some place, you have two options. You can use e or you can use e so. So e or e so can be used with sal salda with the place that you live in. It's kind of a special verb like that. Most verbs are not like that, but salda is. So we have the option. We can have e. I'm going to put so in brackets because you can say hanguge salda or you can say hanguge so salda and both are correct. This book is conversational Korean grammar. My writing is pretty. Thank you. Um, so that's just a little note. Just that so I'm going to put in brackets so that you know it's optional. And then we have our salda, which becomes when you conjugate it with myonso. Because it ends on a liu, remember we don't need our u, so we just add myon so. The salda is tricky, right? He's a tricky guy. Uh, there's some little extra notes and things to know about salda. Hanguge so sal myon so or hanguge sal myon so means while living in Korea. While living in Korea, our next part of our sentence is I worked at a school. Okay. So the word for school, does anyone know what the word for school is in Korean? Yes. <clears throat> um, I'm going to talk about that past sort of tense thing as well. Um, hakyo, yeah. Hakyo means school. Um, now I know someone's saying about past tense. So the sentence is in the past tense, right? So we're going to have a past tense ending for this verb. 
Um, this verb, myonsa, though, uh, you usually don't have any past tense conjugated with this verb, usually. Uh, you can just use myonsa in the middle, and I have the final uh, tense on the final verb. That's how it's uh, usually done. Okay, so now when you're doing an action in some place, when you're doing an action in a place, you need to use the verb or this air saw particle on the place. Now, again, salda is tricky, right? Because salda, you ha have two options, which is a little bit special. But in all other cases, for example, like ilhada, ilhada means to work, which is what we're going to be using in this um, in this grammar form. And ilhada is a verb when you're saying something like you work at some place. You need to use air so. So you shouldn't use air because air is really just used for other things, including indicating times and directions, things like that. Salda is just a special case where you can use either. But in other situations, like the verb ilhada, to work in a place, you should use air so. So at a school would become hakyo air so. Hakyo air so. And our verb to work is ilhada. This verb is about the grammar form ilmyonso in Korean. Okay, so if the verb is ilhada, how do I conjugate this into the past tense? Ilhada, present tense is ilheyo. How do I put it in the past tense? Ireso. Yeah, ireso. Yeah, beautiful. It becomes ilhes. O yo. Il hesoyo. Il hesoyo. This is the past tense form. It means I worked. So we're going to have hakyo eso in the school. Ireso yo. Ireso yo. Hango ge salmion so hakyo eso ireso yo. Yeah. Hango ge so salmion so hakyo eso il hesoyo. All right. While living in Korea, I worked at a school. I worked at a school while living in Korea. A lot of people go to Korea and teach English at schools. So you could say this about your experience in Korea. You could say Hangogeso or Hangogeso Hanmyeonso. Hakyoeso. Ireso. All right. So that is uh, our chapter on Umyeonso. And how long have I been going? I've been going for 39 minutes. Um, okay, maybe I'll very briefly cover the next chapter because the next chapter is going to be pretty short because I'm not going to spend that much time on it, actually. Um, this book is Conversational Korean Grammar. <clears throat> Conversational Korean Grammar is the name of the book. And we just did a lesson on umyeonso, which is used to talk about simultaneous actions. Two actions that you do at the same time. And uh, bri very briefly, I'm going to touch on this next grammar form, which is myo. So um, I'm not going to talk about this very much <clears throat> because, well, for a couple reasons. This grammar form, we debated whether to put it in the book or not. Um... And if we did, we weren't sure where to put it. It's kind of a funny grammar form because it's kind of similar to umyeonso, but it's a little bit different and it's kind of a formal expression. Do you need to be quite advanced to start off this book? No, uh, this book starts at a much easier point. You know, it starts with much simpler things. We've just progressed fairly far and this is where we are at now. But you don't need to be at an advanced level to start with this book. Doesn't jikjang also mean work? Yes, jikjang means work, um, but it's a noun. A jikjang is the place where you work. It's like your workplace is your jikjang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this um Um. Oh, yeah. Um... This um, is it's a bit it's a bit funny. We did end up putting it in the book, 
but I'm only going to briefly talk about it. So basically it has two purposes um, where it can mean and sort of formally and it can also mean during, which is kind of like our umyon saw that we saw before. It's kind of sort of in between go and umyon saw. It's kind of in the middle of these two things. And it's specifically mostly seen in writing. So it comes up more often than I would expect because I run into it fairly often. If you ever, you know, are reading signs in Korean or if you are um, reading a novel in Korean, this is used quite often. Basically, it means, you know, you do this thing and also something else formally. So it's a slightly more formal version of Myeonso. This is conversational Korean grammar. And I see a good question here about what does this 93 times means? It's a very good question. I'm going to talk about this. So when we were doing this count, so we have an intermediate book series called Writing Conversational Korean. And when we were, crea when we were creating Writing Conversational Korean, what we did was we sent native speakers to answer writing prompts in their own words. So they ans answered prompts like, um, you know, how did you meet your best friend? Or, you know, what's your least favorite food? Or something like that. And we asked them to write about it in their own words. And then we collected all of those answers. And we have about, right now we have about 35,000 words. So 35,000 words of natural Korean written by native speakers. And out of all of those words, we counted how many times different grammar forms were used. And uh, so this umyo was used 93 times. And you can compare that to umyeonso, which was used 105 times. Hi. Hello. Hi, Mondiki. My dog is here to see me. Hello. Um, so uh, you can sort of see that they're used pretty often, right? Pretty similarly amount. Umyeonso is used slightly more often than myo, but it's pretty similar. It is a little bit biased because... Uh, all of our responses were corrected, collected in written form, so everyone wrote down their answers. So that's kind of why I think this myo is a little bit more common. Um, but still, it was used quite a lot. Uh, okay, so questions about this book. It is called Conversational Korean Grammar. If you buy the paperback, it's about 35 US dollars. If you buy the... Um, PDF, it's about $15. I think you can find it a little bit cheaper from some other sellers. I think I've seen it as low as like 27 or 28 US dollars if you shop around. Um, but yeah, it's on Amazon, um, Barnes & Noble, um, Blackwell's, The Book Depository. Um, you can find it from multiple different places. And there's also a PDF version for $15 as well. Thank you for the roses. Um... <clears throat> So yeah, umyo, it's a little bit funky, but it comes up more often than you think. My main recommendation about umyo is just to be able to recognize it yourself. You might see it show up, and then you can just remember, oh yeah, it's kind of like umyo and so, but like more formal. Um, but you don't have to use it yourself that much, because it is kind of a funky one. Um, it is more formal, it is more sort of literary, you could probably see it in written forms of Korean, most of all. It's not one that you say out loud so much. Um, do you have to know some Korean to learn from this book? Hello, Katerina. Hello. Um, you have to, you don't have to know any Korean to start this book. You don't need to know any Korean at all. We start with really the basics. Um, we start right at the start and we build you up from there. So like right from the beginning is where we take you. So you don't need to know any Korean at all to buy this book. I do recommend, though, that you know how to read and write the alphabet. Uh, at least have some practice reading and writing the Korean letters. Hunger is what I recommend. Um, but you, yeah, you don't need any information, any knowledge going into it. You can buy this book from scratch. And uh, yeah, it can take you from there. We are fairly far along is all. That's why this is a little bit more advanced because we've gone um, through a fair amount. Um, I've been good. Have <laughs> Um, yeah, so 
Is it a Korean grammar book? Yes, it is a Korean grammar book. Hago is also said and. Yes, ko and hago is also and. This myo is like a little bit more formal than ko as well. Okay, and I'm just going to briefly talk about myo. The first one is that it can be used to mean while or during. This is very common in um, like novels. How are you? Are you Korean? Uh, no, I am originally from New Zealand. Chigamidonasaya. Oh, is it early in Korean? Uh, in Korea right now. I guess that makes sense. Well, good morning. Okay. Um, so this, for an example, you can say like usumyeonso while smiling, or you know shimyo, shimyo, or usumyo, or shimyo, or ulmyo. Those are sort of ways you can use it while doing these things. And again, it's mostly used in writing. Um, and also it can be used to kind of mean and, patta, uh, pajumyo, to receive and and. Is there a difference between umyo and myonso? We do talk about it briefly down here. So umyo is more formal and primarily used in written language. And umyonso is a standard way to say while during and it's used often in spoken and written Korean. Oh, it's 8.47. Oh yeah, it's early. Um... And we have some examples here. You can use either one. For example, um, 음악을 들으며 운동을 하고 있어요. While listening to music, I am exercising. Versus 음악을 들으면서 운동을 하고 있어요. This is using 음요 and this is using 며. But the sentence is the same and the translation is the same. So you can use either. The main difference is that this is more formal and more common in writing. Do you do this live every Sunday only? Yeah, so for me it's Saturday night, but yes, I usually do every weekend. So usually either Saturday or Sunday. Um, and then yeah, also it can be, means and. Again, we have some example sentences like congratulations and best wishes for the future, right? I mean, that's kind of a formal sentence, which is kind of like how myo is used a lot as well. Or he received the award and shook hands, or he notified the company and apologized to the customers. Those kind of more advanced sentences. Um, when switching utta to usumyo, do you always take out ta? Yes. So the first step for basically any grammar sort of conjugation in Korean is you always take off ta. So utta is to smile or laugh. And uh, whenever you're going to conjugate it, you always take away ta before you do anything else. So it becomes usoyo in present tense or usu. Myo for myo or usu myonso for myonso, etc. So in every situation, the ta always, always goes away. That ta um, just signifies that the verb is in its dictionary form. It's dictionary form and it's ready to be conjugated. But by itself, you don't use verbs with the ta. It always goes away. Um... Happy dog, yeah. He sees something he likes outside and he's very happy about it. Bondagi, Bondagi, come. Come here. He's not going to listen to me. Okay. Um, and yeah, basically, umyo versus ko. Umyo is more formal, seen in writing. And it usually implies that the two actions sort of happen pretty similar in time frame. They happen kind of right after each other. So you do one thing and then right after that you do another thing. It can be that sort of thing, or it can be at the same time as well. It can be two things happening consecutively, or it can be one thing kind of happening directly after another. So he received an award and shook hands, for example. He received the award, and then he was shaking hands with as he accepted the reward, or right after he accepted the reward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it suits him well, actually. Um, yeah. Hi, <laughs> Bondigi. Uh, yeah. 
we actually got him to try and eat bondeggy one time um but he didn't want to eat it he wanted to roll in it he wanted to roll over it and get the smell <laughs> all over himself uh, it was really cute and we bought some bondeggy from h mart and uh saw what he did <clears throat> okay um <laughs> anyway uh, but yeah so umil and ko uh pretty similar um just some slight differences um and again a note about um oh with myo you can use past tense can we do the same thing with um myon so that is actually another good difference as os to myo is very common to use the past tense um as os um myo is very common but it's not really used with um myon so um myon so is really just myon so um I you you might see it used in the past tense. You might see it asos and myonso, uh, it, but I think it's not very common. Um, this is very common, but this is not super common. Uh, well, this is common, but asos u myonso is not super common. But you might see it used occasionally. Is there a revised romanization of Korean version? No, unfortunately. So we just use hango. We don't do any romanization. So if you still um, need some more practice with hango, with reading and writing hango, I recommend you do that alongside this book or before getting this book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 